Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Linda. If you're hopping on, good morning. Um, go ahead and either give me a thumbs up, let me know you're here. I see I've got a few people starting to hop on. Um, I know everybody's home now, so let me get my camera fixed a little here. Okay, I'll give me a second and I'll be right back. Good morning. Oh, we have Belgium today. It's already 4 p.m. there, huh? Okay, so you're ahead of us. How are you doing there, Sophie? How's everything over where you're at? Hope you're all doing well, too. Long Island. Let me see. Okay. So yes, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy as well. Um, I'm in Pennsylvania. For those of you that follow, pretty much know that, but those of you that don't and you're hit your first time here, welcome. So if you are um, seeing the red live box up above in the left-hand corner, that means you are catching me live. Uh, so if you're here, uh, welcome, happy Monday. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, here in Pennsylvania, we do have, we are one of the states that have a stay at home order. So if you're able to stay at home, um, you know, they're advising us to stay at home. And um, for me, that's easy because I'm usually at home. My husband's having a little bit more of an issue with that because he is usually on the road. Um, and so we are both working from home. I'm usually, I'm here anyways, and I work from home, but he's on the road and he's having to be confined to um, a makeshift office that we, that I kind of set up for him in one of our spare bedrooms. Um, so he is kind of going a little stir crazy. I'm not so much, he is, um, because this is kind of my day to day, but he's not used to this. So, um, it's a little tough on him. So he's gone a little star crazy. Uh, but other than that, uh, we are doing well here. Um, we're healthy. We've been, I'm missing my grandchildren and I'm sure a lot of other people and grandmas and grandparents are. Um, I haven't seen my grandchildren um, just to keep them safe as well. And uh, 
you know, we're taking the quarantine more on the serious level where we are trying to stay quarantined. Um, a lot of people are, you know, you, Facebook, you, you have the people who don't take it so serious and those that are, we're a little bit more on the we're staying quarantined, kind of trying to stay home, stay our six feet. Um, our church services, we, my husband's a pastor, we have a church. We are doing that from all online. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to flatten the curve like a lot of other people are. So that's what we are doing. So Sophie says she's lucky to work from home and have her kids with her. Yes. Uh, all of my kids are grown. All of my children are um, adult children now, and I've got all grandkids, so they've been staying home too. So I can honestly say that m all four um, of my children uh, are staying home with all of their grandkids. Uh, I do have one daughter who still works in the automotive industry. They have a business, and they are still able to, um, they're still doing their production for what they need to do. So, but... The nice thing about that with her is, is um, it's a family business. They don't have like a production line. Um, most of their stuff was, uh, I would say, like shipping sales and things like that. So their their family, which is their family unit, they're just working within their um, their office as well. So she's still working, but it's just with the family that they nothing's changed with that because it's just a family unit. Some good news, a new cousin is born in our family this morning. Aw, congratulations, Sophie. I think I have the UPS card. Oh, FedEx is here early today. Um, so, oh, well, congratulations, Sophie. That's awesome. So, a new life. Um, that's awesome. Okay, so, um, trying to keep up this time I set my phone correctly so I'm able to see comments today the last the last time we did a live last week I wasn't able to see comments I did something weird to my phone <coughs> so today we are going to we're going to be working on clipboards um, I had these scheduled I tried to do a <coughs> In my mind, I don't have like a written schedule. I try, I order things way in advance and I try to um, order them for the month and think ahead on like, okay, what would this month be? That would be good to um, get you guys start to um, work on for things. And this was one of the things that I had for April because I had figured around May, um, my sister's in Ohio and they always end their school year always ends uh labor day weekend so i was thinking if we started these in april with you guys these would be great teacher appreciation gifts um, i know a lot of schools now are out some are thinking about returning or kind of like have that um, they haven't canceled it for the school year so it's kind of just like they're waiting it out to see um, so these right here would be great um, teacher appreciation gifts. And if by chance you don't get back to school, um, you know, for the school year, if that happens to not work out, this is something that you still could absolutely make for your child's teacher. And at the beginning of the new school year, you could always go back and give it to the, you know, just say, and I'm sure, you know, they're in the midst of this too. So, and just say, you know, sorry that it worked out this way, but we did want to let you know that you were an awesome teacher. And, you know, here is um, the end of the school year gift that we were giving. So this is what I had planned for these. Um, so now you have, you know, a lot of parents that are homeschooling and things like that. So now I'm gearing toward these would just be great for having at your house or in your home and you keeping the daily list of activities um, on it that, you know, maybe that you have planned for your kids, just keeping some papers organized. Uh, usually the first part of May is Teacher Appreciation Week, yeah. So, but here is the back of this and this, <coughs> sorry, allergies, um, I got a high pollen alert this morning. Never had problems with allergies until maybe, and it's not a real big problem for me. Like, I don't need to take Claritin or nothing. But whenever I do get alerts on my phone, 
I've noticed that sometimes I get a little bit of like that tickle in my throat, a little bit of a cough. Now I've only had that for maybe the last five years, but nothing like a lot of the allergy sufferers. Like my one daughter, she really, my two daughters, they actually have some issues with allergies. But here you go. This is design is actually in my shop and it is on that Google Drive too as well. So this has been loaded. And this is the back. Now this is where you could personalize or put anything you want to it. Um, a saying, uh, a teacher's name, you know, a monogram, whatever it is that you want to go ahead and put right here. I left that blank so that you can go ahead and personalize that. And of course, this design can go either or. So if you wanted this to be on the back and this to be on the front, you can make them however you want. Okay, but uh, this is just what I did for this one. So these are really easy to do. Um, you know that I really love the hardboard. This is that MDF hardboard, the Unisub. I absolutely love this pressing material. This is probably one of my favorite pressing materials because they press so nice. The colors are always so vibrant. Um, they're very easy to do. These, um, you know, I love the note boards that you can make, uh, the ornaments, things like that. So this is one of my favorites. Yes, they can mail their teacher gifts to them. Some schools are allowing that. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure that probably most schools will, that if you do that. But uh, I do have a friend who works in the um, middle school administration. And <coughs> at this point, they're not even allowing the teachers to go in to get anything. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> So they're not even allowing the teachers to go in to even get any mail or anything like that. Now, I'm not saying that they wouldn't hold that there for them. I'm going to get a drink. But I know that our local school, um, at least the one that my friend works at, she's in administration, and um, <clears throat> they're not allowing teachers even into the buildings to grab anything. So they kind of already had a shutdown a few weeks ago where they had the teachers come in clean things out, grab everything they needed because they were disinfecting the school and then they weren't allowing anybody to enter back in. So, um, but I'm sure if mail came there for them or anything like that, then they could probably, I'm sure they just probably stack that up and pick that for them later. Good morning, good morning. More people hopping on. Good morning. Um, so, yeah, this is a cute design. I love the llamas. I just think they're cute. Some people say llama, some people say alpacas, but I don't know. I think that's more of a llama. I assume it's a llama. Some people, someone, someone, when I put this up, someone messaged me and said that's an alpaca. I, listen, I don't know. Um, I think it's a llama, so I'm going to go with this as a llama. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is what we're going to do. Very simple, very easy. And I will tell you, these, I bought these at Coastal. Um, in my pinned post, I do have a link to Coastal Business Supply, and if you use the code, the, this is good all the time. This is a group code from now on. I partnered with Coastal, which I'm super excited about because I do love Coastal Business Supply, and I do order um, a lot of supplies from them. Uh, so these were at Coastal Business Supply. It's in the pinned post. You get 5% off of your order. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but sometimes I say, you know what, even if that just covers my taxes, then I'm happy. Any discount, I'm happy with. Um, so there is 5% off with that order. And if you um, order $149 from them or more, their shipping's free. So, but if you don't, that 5% sometimes will cover the shipping cost, okay, or close to it. Um, so let me tell you, this is the 9 by 12.5 size. So this one I got a little bit bigger. They come in a bunch of different sizes. There's a few sizes. Um, this one I really liked because to me it was more of a regular size that, you know, you kind of see um, clipboard. And this was the flat clip that I got. They also have a bullnose one where it's the big clip on it. Um, I like the flat clips better. And they do have the hanger, so this could be hung up. Okay, that's why I said these are great for school homeschooling moms right now because you can keep some papers organized or if you're getting some things ready for the next day, you could put it on here 
or checklists or whatever. That's really a good use for anything, to be honest. So if you, the price of the nine by 12.5, three of them, they come in a pack of three for $25.84, which equals out to be about $8.61 each. Or you can get a pack of 12 for $91.78, and if you do that, they end up to be about $7.60 each. $7.64 to be honest, to be exact. Um, and they also come in a nine by 15 and a half. A six by nine, which was a, as a smaller size of that. Um, and then they have a, a Monaco design, which is kind of like curved and it's pretty. And it's nine by 12. I didn't get the prices of those. I don't know why I didn't write them down, but I didn't. Um, but they're all about the same. So uh, pricing wise, kind of. So that's on that. Okay. So I did add two more designs I worked on last night and I put them in my shop. One is a sunflower and one is the wooden background. I know a lot of you love the wooden background, so I'm gonna probably make a couple of those. And um, I did that one last night. So that's the one we're actually gonna use right now. I'm gonna do the purple wooden background. So I'm gonna add a few more of those wooden background ones to it. My table's kind of full and I'm still, I'm doing Easter um, gifts for my grandkids at the moment. So um, my table's full of stuff. <laughs> I've got Easter stuff everywhere for all of my grandbabies. So, okay. But here's the design that I printed out. All right. Um, this is the design. It's in my shop and um, it's the She is Closed with Strength and Dignity design. So, and then I put the floral design on. That was a very popular design with the, um, the bookmarks that I had. And I still have bookmarks if anybody's looking for them. Someone just asked me this morning. I still have those. They are over in my Etsy shop. Okay. So, I know this looks forward um, straight to you, but this is actually mirrored. So, when you do this, make sure you mirror. Okay. I am doing these on my 15 by 15 press. I do have the Cricut uh, Easy Press Pad. Now this is the larger one that I'm using. I think this is like 12 by 20. It's the largest one that they have. So I'm using that on there. Um, I do use the pressing pads for these because I like them for pressing the um, any of the unisubs. So I do that. And these do not have like a front and a back, but they are front and back sublimatable. Okay, so one side does not, the white side I don't think, no, it does not have film on it, but this side does, so you need to peel the film off. So how's everybody's April going so far? How is everybody's April going so far? We are on the sixth day of April. I know March seemed like it was forever. However, though, the weather's starting to get nice here. I'm very thankful for that because while we are in quarantine, we still now, at least it's not in the middle of winter. It's not dark at 4.30. Um, we are able, it's not getting dark till about 7.30, 8 o'clock, more like 8 o'clock now um, here. So we're able to go out. We have been doing a little bit of yard work and stuff. Um, Yesterday, it was a little bit cloudy here, and it was a little bit chilly yesterday, so today's supposed to be really nice, so we're going to head out and do some more mulching the gardens and things like that, or getting the weeds and stuff out, getting it ready for mulch. So we are doing some yard work. Okay, so I peeled off the protective uh, covering, and then I am just going to line this up, and then I heat tape this down. Try to center this and then just heat tape it. Hold on, got this a little off. Sometimes I, when I center it, I'm not paying much attention, so I need to center this. But this design will, um, it can, 
scroll down. Um, you can make it smaller. You can make it larger to fit the bigger one. Um, you can, you know, make it a little bit more vertical. It's okay. I already tried it, so it does work out. Um, so you can size these up or down to fit whatever you need. And even if you just wanted to put this on a, um, a dry erase board or anything like that or on a plaque, this design would be perfect. It would work. Okay. And then um, butcher paper. Okay. And you can get these, I say this every time, you can get these either at Sam's Club or you can get it at GFS, which is Gordon Food Service. And they, it ranges for a roll, um, it's the unwaxed. And it ranges between um, 20 to $25, depending on where you get it at. At least that's the two places I get it here. I'm sure there's probably other places that you can get it at. That's just where I'm able to get it in my local area. Butcher paper to cover it again, and 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, you could probably do these about 45, 50 seconds. I have an older, I have an older heat press, and um, my temperature is now. Uh, this is like 10 years plus, and it's starting to get a little bit fluctuating. So I kind of do about 60 seconds on them. When they do come off, they get hot, so I use the heat gloves. Okay. Um, I don't pre-press these. I have not found that I've needed to yet. Not saying that you can't because on some of them, like on my dry erase boards, for some reason they must hold a little bit more moisture. I always, always, always have to um, pre-press those. Um, I have not found that yet on these clipboards. But I do wear them. They do get really hot when they come off, but they... Um, cool off quickly but they get hot so I just wear these these gloves I bought at Amazon and they are literally under hair care so they're for like stylists or whenever you're using like a curling iron or anything like that um, they're heat resistant so this isn't something that you could like put in an oven or nothing like that like keep in an oven um, I noticed that they get a little bit warm I have not pressed this design yet so we'll see the truth of the moment. It turned out beautiful. Very vibrant. I hope you can see that. And look how shiny these boards are. They are so, so pretty. So shiny. Um, this is like a high gloss finish on them. So they're very, very vibrant. I hope you can see. Look at the detail in that. These turn out so pretty. Okay, so that's the purple one. Um, we're going to do the back. I'll have to decide which side I want on this once we're done. So I'm going to do the other side. Where can I get these from? I'm just signing in. Um, these I actually got at the Coastal Business Supply. No, this is not what, this is MDF, um, the Unisub MDF. Um, and I got these, I will put the direct link to them when I'm done. And um, I got these at Coastal Business Supply. They come in a pack of three or a pack of 12, okay? So um, these would be great. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna start doing a bunch more designs for these because these are great for coaches, sports teams, things like that. So I'm gonna do some sports related ones as well, okay? And do not forget, um, I did team up with Coastal and that this discount works at every purchase that you do, okay? So every time you make a purchase, you there is in the pin post, make sure you use that link up there. there um, the code up there because when you do that code it gives you five percent off now i'm going to tell you somebody asked me is that an affiliate link it is i teamed up with coastal so um you know every time you make a purchase i get something back from it believe me it's not do or die with that but um i'm just happy that yins are able to get that discount because i'm trying to team up with some other companies as well to start giving you guys um, some discounts whenever you purchase because you know who doesn't want to save money so that's just awesome so I'm working on a few other vendors that I'm trying to team up with and give you guys some um, some discounts as well I'm just waiting to hear back from some people 
Okay. I know there's a lot of businesses that right now um, not in full operation, so it's taken them a little bit longer to get back to me. Um, so let's hope that we hear back from some. And then I can start passing some codes on to you guys and some discounts. Okay, same thing here. We're just going to line it up. Tape it down. Oop, got my paper. Butcher paper. Again, I haven't pressed this design either, so we're pressing these for the first time too, together. Okay, and then uh, 400 degrees, I do 60 seconds. You can do between 45 and 60. Um, I did do them, they were recommended to do them a little bit, I wanted to say like at 390 or something like that. It wasn't working out really good on my first couple that I did, so I upped mine. Um, so 400's working good for me. However, though, this is an older, um, older press, and my temperature is dropping a little, and it does stay around 390, 95. So um, if that works for you, then, you know, 395, and then about 45, 50 seconds for the parts I missed. Um, you really didn't miss much, Tina, I don't think. You, you never know. But um, so these are the clipboards. Let's get ready. We're about ready. And then I'm going to show you how to assemble them. They're super easy to assemble. And yes, they do smoke a little. So don't be afraid if you see them smoking. It's just the moisture coming out of them. Although they don't have a lot of moisture, I've not found that as I do with my um, nope, the dry erase boards. And I was a little bit leery on, I had changed um, my other Epson dyed. Finally, after two years, um, I just couldn't keep it. I just had to keep constantly working with it. There you go. Look how pretty. Look how glossy and shiny. I mean, these are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. They look like wood when you're done because this is the design that's on there. So this is the purple one. I will have a blue one, a, um, I think more of a lavender one coming. Um, I just got a few ideas for some different ones and then I'm just gonna do some brown wooden ones. <laughs> you always panic when you see the smoke. Um, at first, I used to, but now I'm kinda like, yeah. What do I do if it starts to bubble or warp? Um, I've not really had that problem with these, but I will tell you, um, I don't remember what it was that I was doing and they would just constantly warp, constantly. So what I would do is as soon as they were done, I would set them onto, you know, a, a hard surface and then if I had to, I kind of just stood there and kind of pressed it down for a minute and held it down. Um, there was the one, and I don't even remember what it was, but I just had so many issues with it. I was like, you have to be kidding me. Like, it, my every board was warping. So I just kind of, like I said, just put it down, and then I just kind of, like, took a finger, and I kind of, like, held it down until it cooled off a little, and that seemed to help a lot with it. So, okay, one more time, and then we're going to assemble them. Okay. And look how shiny. I mean, these are so pretty. So again, these are a Coastal. Um, use that link, get the 5% off discount for sure. You want to use that. And then for those of you that are tuning in, this was the one that I had originally done. And this was the Llama ones. Okay. And you can personalize. And as you see, like, I, these are blank on my um, on the designs that I did these are blank uh, on this one all I did was I chose not to because this one's gonna be for me and I just put the thing in the, um, I just put the floral design that I had on the front I used it in the center um, but you can put a name on there a saying whatever you want that's up to you okay 
Sometimes the toughest part is deciding which do you want the front and could you use Dumbo White? You probably could. Um, my biggest thing is try to um, give it a second for the ink to um, stop working because um, these are a gas and the reason that you get ghosting is because um, if anybody knows what ghosting is, it's when you get that little shadow sometimes, like especially like on fabric items. There's a few other things that you can get, like mugs and things like that, where you get a little bit of ghosting, and it's because your image trans like moved, shifted a little, while it was still like the gases were the inks. The ink the with sublimation the inks turned into gas while the gases were still working. Okay, and um, I've sometimes noticed that if you touch something right away or you while it's still really hot, uh, it still has a little bit of a transfer to it. So just be careful when you put the dumbbell on. I kind of just do this real quick, and then you could probably go ahead and set something on it, okay? What would I sell these for? I would definitely sell these. I think they were, I was looking at them, the price ranges were between $20, $25 for these. And this was the, this is the 9 by 15, 15.5. Okay, so these were about 20 bucks each. And like I said, you could personalize it. I just chose to, I put a design in here because this one's for me. And I'm debating on which side do I want for me. For the front. I think I'm going to, this is the side I want everybody to see. So just remember that when you're making these. Um, this is probably going to be the side, even if it's going to be a coach, somebody's holding it. This is the side somebody's going to probably see nine times out of ten because this is a, um, a clipboard. So there's, this is going to be covered a lot time, most of the time with paper. Okay, so if you have a teacher and she's holding a clipboard, what side do you want them to be able to see nine times out of ten? Okay. All right, so with these, these are the flat clips. Okay, these are very easy to get put together and they do have the hanging hook all right so when you get them they're going to come with pieces to them and the pieces are going to be the clip and then you're going to get a bag of hardware okay and in this bag of hardware hardware there's going to be two sizes There is going to be two sizes in here. Let me try to show you this. There's going to be a size that's going to be this big, okay? And then there's going to be a smaller size, which is only going to be about that size. So between the two, you'll have a male size and then the female size, okay? which is that will go in and then the male size is smaller and it goes into the female, okay? So those are the two sizes. Um, I don't know, if I move my camera, it's not gonna be right. That's the bad part. Let me see if I can. Let's see if we can do this for you. <clears throat> I know this is gonna be tough to do. Okay, so you're going to take the male size, which is the larger size, and you're, there's two holes here. All right, they're already made for you. You're just going to put them through, up through the hole. And you're going to put these clips on the top of them. It's going to be hard for me while you guys are on here. Whoop. I don't think there's any easy way for me to do this with you, for you able to see. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna do this quicker. What I usually do is I usually do one one at a time because it's really hard to have them both in there and to line them up. So I just do one at a time. So then you put the the big part on the bottom, up through your clip on top. 
There's already holes for it. And then you just put the, um, the female part onto the back part, okay? And this is what, this is my tools of choice. This is a, a, a punch. Um, some husbands have them in their tool arsenal. And this, what this is, is it really is like a nail set. Some people call it a nail set. Some people call it a punch. Um, it has two ends. I like this flat end here. You could use this end here, and of course it'll punch it down, which is fine, and then you'll have an indent, which is fine as well. Or you can use this. I'm gonna use this flatter end, and then I just put this over top of this, because what you need to do is then you just need to pound it down. And then I just give a little tap on it to get it set. And then I really go back and do it when they're both in. And don't worry about the little indents that you'll get because you will get them on the top. It, it's no big deal. Ain't nobody sitting there paying attention and saying, oh, that's dented. And I just give it a really, I, then I go back and really get them in. That's it. These become flush. Let me get this one a little bit more. That's it. Okay. So see how these become like flush? So these are flush. And then there you go. It's ready to go. Okay. Simple and easy. Like I said, don't worry about the little indents. Um, that doesn't worry me. I don't worry about that. Ain't no one looking saying, oh, that's indented a little. Nobody's worrying about that. Okay, that's it. Easy. Let me get my camera back. Super easy. They're super, very, very easy to do. They turn out beautiful. They have the hanging tab, so this can be hung for a teacher in her classroom on a nail. Simple and easy. And just remember, when you're doing it, just... Um, the biggest thing is, the hardest thing is, is, you know, deciding which do you want for the back, what do you want for the front. So just remember, this one's going to be seen 98% of the time, if not 99% of the time, compared to this, because this is probably going to be covered with, um, you know, some papers or something like that. So you need to decide on what, how you want it. That's probably the hardest part of this whole clipboard, is deciding on what you're doing, okay? You can buy a handheld rivet tool. Yes, you can from Tandy Leather. And um, that would probably be the easiest one, another easy way where you can just rivet it together. The only thing I did find that was a little bit hard was, you know, um, with anything was, of course, this had this little lip here on it. So, you know, getting it to work in here. Yes, the, cl the clipboards are from Coastal. And the pin post is a um, code for shopping, it's a 5% discount to you guys. Please use that, okay? Oh, my husband's watching too. My husband's out and about for a minute. He had to run out this morning. So use the, um, use the, use the code. Make sure either you get your taxes taken off, whatever it is, use the code, okay? And with Coastal Business Supply, if you order over $149, um, shipping's free. Um, I always do. I, 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 hate 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 shipping costs that is probably my biggest pet peeve is i hate shipping costs and um i love that when companies you know do if you order so much then you get free shipping so usually i try to um when i first started out before i started really getting a lot of bulk supply um i would do place orders maybe once a week or i'm sorry once a month once every two weeks and i would build up to where i could get free shipping um, Coastal is probably one of the ones that does the, um, the smaller minimum for free shipping. Uh, there's a lot of other suppliers that I use that, you know, they make you order three to five hundred dollars worth. And sometimes that's hard, you know, especially if you don't have, if this is kind of a hobby business or you're not doing a lot of sales, then that makes it tough. Um, Coastal, however, is only $149, and then they offer free shipping, which is awesome. 
What was the code? It is sub design five. Um, so, you know, make sure that when you do that and you put it in at the end, it's at the end of checkout, there's say promo code um, or, or discount code, I think that one says. Make sure that's where you put it in and then watch the discount come off, okay? Don't check out until you see you get that discount because you might have put it in wrong. It's S-U-B-D-E-S-I-G-N-5, okay? Well, hubby's saying hello, beautiful. He's so sweet. Um, okay, so that's it with the clipboards. Okay, and then um, last week we were doing, let me see if I can find them. I probably can't, I probably took them down. Um, last week we were doing, I did the baby feet with you. Um, and I know some of you probably have gotten yours already. If not, they are probably going to be delivered today or on their way. Um, I have noticed that my mail is a little bit slower, but I'm assuming it's because, um, you know, the mail, everybody's doing things via mail, UPS, FedEx, things like that. So um, don't be nervous if yours hasn't got there yet. Um, the, my mail, even in itself, has been running um, I would say even a day behind at this moment. So, but last week we did these, the baby feet design. And I have new ones coming to you um, that I have done and I have designed. We are gonna, I got some stars. Look how cute those are. Okay, this is a new design that I'm gonna be offering along with the cutout. And um, it's never too early to start thinking about ornaments. Because you can give an ornament all year long. Don't feel that, um, you know, Christmas time is really, or Christmas in July is really a time to give an ornament. I, with every wedding gift I've ever given, wedding gifts, I have always given an ornament as the tag or just put it as decoration on the wedding gift. Um, I've done that forever. I used to do, um, like, I'd go to places like Things Remember and things like that and get engravable ornaments. Um, I, that's something I've always done. So don't feel like because it's an ornament that, you know, oh, it's just for Christmas, because it's not. These can become gift tags. They can become decorative tags. And it's something that you're giving that's, you know, forever. That's something that will always be with them. Whether they hang it as a gift tag, um, if you just want to make it a tag with a saying, it could be in a baby's room, if the baby, you know, you're giving it as a baby being born gift, as a newborn gift, things like that. So I'm going to be doing the hearts cut out. So I'm going to be offering these up. These are coming up. Um, give me, you know, a day or two to go ahead and get these listed. So I'm going to start doing those. And ta-da! I got some wedding ones because it is wedding season. Um, I know a lot of people had to postpone some weddings, but we still have the rest of the year. Wedding season's coming up, and we're going to be doing. I'm going to have some wedding designs for you as well. So these are new. These are coming to you guys. I'm going to do orders for these. Okay, for these as well. So these will be coming up. I'm probably not going to put them up today. Look for them more like tomorrow, the next day. All right, so that's what, uh, these are new. These are the four inch ones, and they were the same as the baby feet. So now I have three of them that I'm offering up. We're going to be doing the stars, the wedding, and the baby feet. So these turn out to be really adorable. And here's one of the designs I was working on the other night. Um, it's a twinkle twinkle, little star. Let me try to do this. That's cute. So this was the girl one because I had a girl owl on it. Um, I might tweak this design a little bit, just working on it. What is my website? It is, I have a link for it. It is also in the pinned post. You can find it. It is just Char Sethman Designs and it's at Etsy. So, um, so these are some items that I also have that I'm going to be listing. Okay. And, um, I have some more designs and some more thoughts in my head on some things coming up. Um, definitely be watching later this week. I have a little preview 
to what I was super excited about um, coming up. I would like to go ahead and try to get it out to you guys so you have it for Mother's Day and Father's Day. So I am going to give you a little preview, a little sneak peek of this. Uh, probably toward the end of the week, middle toward the end of the week. I'll go ahead and announce that so that everybody can see it because um, I think you're going to love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite all-time thing that I've ever made. Any news on the tote bags? All the news that I have is they are moving. Um, I, that I'm still waiting as well as you are. I have not had any updates. Um, I'm happy that they're traveling. I know that these are coming from China, just so that you know that. I know they're back to full shipping, but whether or not um, how they're dealing with their shipping, I know that there was some disinfecting processes once it hit the borders, things like that. So um, I do know that they're traveling. I haven't got any official tracking. So until I can get that, I can't even tell you where they're at. I just contacted the rep and she simply said, they are moving. We assure you they've left the facility. That's all that I got. And that was just on an email from my rep. Okay, so I wish I had more news on that because I myself would like to get them as well. Um, they've been held up for a long time now. This is probably one of the longest items I've ever had held. So I'm hoping to hopefully this week get some info on are they here in the States? You know, are they in a process of disinfecting? I don't know. So let's hope we hear something. Fingers crossed on that one. Okay. Uh, any questions from anybody? So we're ending out with today's clipboards. I will put a link in the post to um, the clipboards for Coastal, the exact link. These, the ones that I'm using right here, I used, these are the 9 by 12 and a half, uh, 9 by 15 and a half. Okay. And they sub beautifully. And really, you could use these for, who doesn't need a clipboard? You know, um, this is, could be something for anybody. Um, I'm going to do some more Sports designs, because these will be great for coaches. We've got a lot of um, sports season coming up. Hopefully, that will be back in full swing. Um, so, I'm going to do some sports designs for these. Um, a few more other designs. These are great for churches. Really, anybody. Offices. Okay. So, that's what we did today. These are what we got coming up. I will be listing these. Got more designs of these coming up. The ornaments, gift tags. That's pretty much it. Recap on time and temp. I'll put that in the um, in the description. But this is I'm doing them for 460 seconds. But like I said, this press is really old, um, so my temperature fluctuates. So you could probably do them for 390 to 400 depending on your press uh, between 45 and 60 seconds so I've not had any problems with it I'm doing it 460 seconds yes you're right Sophie everybody can use a beautiful clipboard I don't care what it's for everybody can use one okay so I'll put all the info up there the link to coastal and everything you need. All right, everybody? Um, I'm going to try to come back toward the end of the week and let you see the sneak peek of what we have coming, of my all-time favorite item. And I do mean all-time favorite item. All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Aw. It's not a perfect time, but I wish I was born in America. Oh, Sophie, thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit. We're having a little bit of tough time here, but we'll get through it, right? You're welcome, Deanna. Okay, everybody have a blessed day and have a blessed week. I will see you later this week.